Rotterdam is more than meets the eye. There's so much to see in the city. However, not all people see this, but instead this. Glasses and contact lenses are not always enough to correct eye problems. In these cases, Rotterdam is the place to be. This is the Netherlands Institute for Innovative Ocular Surgery, or NEOS. The what? NEOS is a scientific institute for ophthalmology specialized in treating people with cornea problems. Let's take a look inside. When you have problems with your eyes, you usually turn to your family doctor, an optician, or an ophthalmologist. However, surgery may be needed for severe cornea problems. For this surgery, you can be referred to a specialized institute such as NEOS. The idea of someone operating on your eyes is, of course, pretty scary. But here at NEOS, you're in good hands. NEOS consists of several departments that work closely together. Two important departments are the cornea clinic and the eye bank. The professionals at NEOS work closely together in small teams. Besides personal attention, innovation and quality are of the utmost importance within the clinic. To us, patients are much more than just a number in our books. The atmosphere is relaxed and comfortable. NEOS provides high-quality care to benefit the patients. Let's see what's happening in the consulting room. At your first visit, an optometrist such as Corinne here will examine your eyes, check your vision, and listen to your concerns. These measurements are taken again by the optometrist during your follow-up visits. Corinne will examine Mr. Peter's eyes both before and after his surgery. And, and Corinne, she doesn't miss a thing. I'm going to make some photos. Before your operation, you will meet with your ophthalmologist to discuss which type of cornea surgery will be best for you. Additional eye exams are done to ensure that your team knows everything about your eyes before proceeding. Because donor tissue is not always immediately available for transplants, there is a waiting list of five to six months for a surgery date. After the consultation, Important information about eye care before and after your surgery will be given at the reception. The corneas needed for transplants come from deceased donors who wish to give their eyes a new life after their death. Thanks to these generous donations, many other people can be helped. The donor corneas are stored in the eye bank and, of course, are very carefully handled.
Christine and Jessica make sure that everything is perfect before the corneas are used for transplants. The corneas are carefully prepared and stored under the right conditions. Check, prepare, and double check. Until even Christine and Jessica are satisfied. I am currently at the eye bank. The stored corneas are awaiting a new future. The eye bank provides transplant tissues to our own cornea clinic. In addition, corneas can be sent to other clinics in the Netherlands and sometimes abroad. Meet Isabel Depena, corneal surgeon. She is about to start an operation. The operating room is the heart of the clinic. An operation is never performed by just one surgeon, but by a team of eye surgeons and assistants. The procedure takes about one and a half to two hours. After surgery, the patient has to lie down for an additional hour. Isabel is working on what we call a DMEC corneal transplantation. This is a special technique invented by ophthalmologist Gert Mellis, the founder of NEOS. With the DMEC technique, we can avoid replacing the patient's entire cornea by only transplanting an ultra-thin layer of the cornea. The procedure and recovery are therefore much easier and more pleasant for the patient. The DMEC technique and other methods that Gerrit Mellis developed are a big step in improving the quality of cornea transplants. Eye surgeons and clinics around the world are very interested in our techniques. NIAS is getting top marks in the international medical community. The operating room itself is innovative and cutting edge. NIOS has developed an operation cabin designed for microsurgeries called the Surgicube. The Surgicube provides sterile air where it's needed the most, near the instruments and on the operating table. We can be confident that the surgery occurs in a perfectly sterile environment with minimal risk of infection after surgery. This is necessary as eyes are particularly vulnerable. Operation successful, Isabel? After a transplantation, we follow the patient for the rest of his or her life. Eye exams are performed one day, one week, one month, three months, and six months after surgery. After this, eye exams are only done twice per year. NEOS checks whether the cornea graft has been well accepted and how much the patient's vision has improved. The experience and knowledge generated at NEOS is shared with surgeons worldwide. NEOS organizes courses which offer ophthalmologists from around the world an opportunity to study our techniques. We call these wet lab sessions. Let's take a look.
Not only do attendees learn the surgical theory, but they are given a chance to practice the techniques they learn. These ophthalmologists are practicing on porcine eyes. It takes a steady hand to get it right. These ophthalmologists can then use their new knowledge and skills at their own clinics. Thus, our techniques are currently being used worldwide. Vasilis is a visiting ophthalmologist from Greece. He is here at NEOS to learn these special techniques as a subspecialty. Visiting surgeons who are here for at least half a year are even more able to apply their knowledge in their own countries. In this way, NEOS contributes to improving the quality of eye surgeries on a global scale. At NEOS, we are continually improving our own methods. Marika here is doing research on different dyes. We also work on the development and improvement of our surgical instruments, such as the cornea claw. We think that research and innovation are very important. The cornea claw makes a cornea float in liquid. This prevents corneal damage. The cornea itself is no longer touched. The claw acts as a handle. A large proportion of our staff focuses solely on research and innovation. They have published numerous scientific articles in international medical journals. They perform necessary experiments and collect data. What works best? What doesn't damage the delicate eye tissue? How are patients treated? The search for the best treatment never stops. As you can see, there is much to discover in this fascinating world of ophthalmology. If you would like to know more about our institute or our treatment options, please feel free to contact us. And of course, here is Dr. Gert Melles, the founder of NEOS. Not only does he continue to perform corneal surgeries, but he is an innovative driving force behind advancements in the fields of ophthalmology, both at NEOS and worldwide. Mm -hmm.